So, you picked Gunner. Sorry to tell you that uh, Gunner's pretty lacking in PvE right now. It's still fun to play though. I'm playing it right now and I'm having a blast. And I'm going to provide you with some tips and tricks to help you also have fun playing this class. All these tips and tricks should help you have a better PvE experience. So if you like to shoot stuff and you want to keep shooting stuff, feel free to stick around. And I'm going to give you my entire ability list that I'm currently using that I feel is the best for PvE right now. If you apply all of the information that I'm providing in this video. So after the tutorial, you'll be between like level 18 or 20. Um, at this point, I just recommend you mess around, learn what the abilities do, and you just pick what feels right for you. I don't think that there's any right or wrong answer on how you build your character at this point. I would say just familiarize yourself with the class, see how it feels to play, see how the energy management is for you, and just build around there and just have fun until like level 35. After level 35, then you can really start looking into what abilities you want to combine to be able to actually farm mobs more efficiently and quicker. So I did actually release a video for level 35 gunner. Uh, it does provide a PVE setup, which was pretty good, but I have since applied a lot of the knowledge that I've gained in the last day or two. And now I feel I've created something that it's even more efficient than what that was. So if you are using that guide, it's still fine. It's still a decent starting PVE build. Um, but I'm going to provide some more information on here that will build upon that and you may even have a stronger setup after this. So the first tip that I want to go over is get Fate 21 in your runes as quickly as you can. Um, I applied the evade uh, that gives you the bonus crit and I feel like it just boosted my clear so much so I cannot recommend that enough. Now, when you open your map and you go over to the Dungeons tab, you're going to see Transcendent Dungeon. Click that, and if you go to the Hall of Challenges, each of these floors, at least up until number 9, from what I understand, give you a level 3 Fate Rune. Now, these level 3 Fate Runes cannot be upgraded, but they can be used to enhance other Fate Runes, and they can also just be used in place of Fate Runes to get you to that 12 quicker. So once you get to the main foothold, you'll be around level 34, level 36. You need to go to that skill attribute merchant and buy whichever of the rare skill attributes that you want to use. I personally would immediately go for Fatal Missile, especially if you already have Fate 12, that is going to be beautiful for pulling mobs. And it's actually one of the main abilities that I use with my current PvE setup. So let's go over a level 35 clear. You're gonna need missile, bombardment, bullet rain, and piercing mortar. That's all you'll need for this clear. Super simple, super easy, all right? You're gonna wanna start by evading, get that crit. Go ahead, use your fatal missile. Then you can roll to another group or walk to another group, grab another group with another fatal missile. Then you wanna use your bombardment, your bullet rain, and your piercing mortar to clear those mobs out. Feel free to continue to use Fatal Missile throughout and don't forget about your right click and make sure you're left clicking if you're low on energy. Now that you know the basic clear that we're using for Gunner right now, your next upgrade is going to be at level 37 where I recommend that you buy Active Bombardment from the Skill Attribute Merchant. This will give you that little bit of extra DPS that you're wanting to see. So after level 37, um, you may be stuck in an area where you are not hitting level 38 by just running quests. This is where you're going to start wanting to farm mobs um, to get to your next quest level area. Uh, keep in mind that this is going to start happening more and more now, now that you are out of the tutorial phase that was up to about level 35. What's good about this though is that epic scroll attribute scrolls do drop from mobs. Now, I don't personally know any of the drop rates on them, but there are areas that I've gotten them from, and those are the Fungus Bloom Ridge in the Falling Mountainside region and the West Wind Rest in the Four Wind Hill region. If you were to get these, I would recommend that the first one that you spend is on the Bombardment's Epic skill attribute. That thing speeds up your clear immensely, all right? It strikes the ground, 
four times after the ability is active and continues to reapply that stiffen which continues to allow you to get as much damage out while the enemy can't touch you. Now after the bombardment epic skill attribute there's not much more I can offer currently as I don't have enough skill points to make a max PvE build. Um, but I am working on that and I will continue to provide updates and more information as I continue to play the game. So I haven't looked that deep into the mana awakening system in the game, but if you are curious, this is what I'm currently running. I've got the combination, amplify, precise, frugality, then I've got destruction, and destruction sharp weapon. I will not claim that this is the best setup. This is just what's working for me and what I tried out. Uh, I will say though that the combination ability feels really nice as it hits all mobs that are currently aggroed on you and even mobs that are around you as well. Now the last thing I want to hit on in this video is rush fate 33 as fast as you can in your rune attributes. You will then be able to select an attribute that gives you plus nine points in all other runes. I cannot express enough of how strong you will feel after you do this. I would recommend aiming for a 12 baseline across after getting to Fate 33. So with all the information that I've provided you, you should be good up until about level 40. I made it to level 40 and I'm finding that PvE grinding is only getting better past level 35, especially after the epic attribute on Bombardment, it's just been amazing. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this guide. I hope it helped you in any way possible. Please, if you have any feedback, any criticism, or thoughts, leave them in the comment section below. And let's all hope that Gunner gets a little bit of love coming in the future patches. <laughs> Again, thank you very, very much for checking out this guide. My name's Slick. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Happy grinding. Peace.